let me explain what is one to many in very basic language which all of you will understand so i'm just explaining one to many in a diagram one becoming many and that's your geometry this is geometry this is plane geometry this is how you start your plane geometry and this is how you, so you start with the point many of them together is a line many of them together you start getting polygons three lines together we call it a triangle keep on adding triangles you get further polygons this is a quadrilateral you keep on adding it you will get trapeziums pentagons hexagons octagons and finally if you do this infinite number of times you will get a circle so we started with a line and finished with a circle now what is a circle circle can be considered as the last polygon that's what people say that's the last polygon now the same circle just strike this like this straighten this out you get a line and so line can be considered as a circle with infinite radius circle can be considered as a polygon with infinite lines so what is geometry line to a circle we started line to a circle and everything in between is your geometry you need only this much geometry when it comes to the exam which you are planning to take so line to a circle and everything that's just an overview a 30 second overview of what we did from 8 standard up to 10 standard in in plane geometry maybe most of us didn't realize that it's as easy as this so line is a circle with infinite radius circle is a polygon with infinite lines and what is geometry every line to circle and everything in between now that's just an overview we'll get into details now what is ge what is geometry geometry is nothing but numbers in diagrams numbers in diagrams or numbers visualized so most of the important questions are based on triangles circles these are all frequently used regular polygons right now how we learn is not just you start from the highest level you put all the diagrams together all regular polygons you put a, there's a square there's a circle there's a hexagon so are four frequently used polygons regular polygons which when you get a question only two of them will be together most of the times you take any two together you'll find enough questions in your previous paper and we you can i'll write it as polygon in a polygon any question which you will get on your day you can predict before you take the exam itself that's a huge advantage when i when i say you if you can predict solving i don't need to mention right you will anyway solve now area based questions when you are solving there is almost zero preparation i won't use the word zero it's minimum preparation so let me show you how to how to solve area based questions and this you will start your preparation now and finish it now itself at least this part is one third anyway one third of your geometry questions are area based only most of the times more than that so abcd is a square now i need only 25% concentration from your side you still you will understand i am not teaching you anything abcd of is a square abcd is a square e and f are the midpoints now let's i'm just giving you a moderate question from a previous paper which you will soon tell it's not my question it's not a abcd by df when you are solving what is that you need to do you just need to cut the diagram question is over and uh, just cut the diagram that's your method for solving area based questions cut the diagram and count so this can't be at our level just cut the diagram and how will you count maybe just to make it look like math i'll use words like drop a perpendicular if a b c d if it's 100 a e m d will be 50 i'm just giving you the alternate explanation so that reverse outside this will be 25 because a e m d if it's 50 outside this line it will be 25 drop a similar line here similar perpendicular here d and fc will be another 50 d and fc is another 50 so outside this line will be 25 eofb will be what is eofb 25 so outside this line will be 12.5 so we got the area outside so we can get the area inside 62.5 if it's outside inside it will be 37.5 If you are assuming it as hundred, you can assume it as ten and solve, thousand and solve. Because they are all flexible questions, right? In terms of you can assume whatever you want. It's a finally it's a ratio question. That's why. So what's the answer? Hundred by thirty-seven point five. Now, so you might you might be thinking that I am giving you questions where these methods are working, right? The fact is, I cannot give any other question where this won't work. Not I can't give. No one can give. You can make. this provided the question is like this you can't just cut and count because it's not symmetric at all but this you won't find in your paper the moment if it's coming we will figure out a method by that time how will you practice for it if there is anything to practice when you don't have anything else to do take some regular polygons and start cutting them and start counting them you will end up solving every question which came before or any question which can come later so 
take a regular x second now uh, since so all of us like previous questions right all of us like we all see all 15 years papers 10 years papers and all not required because you will be at a much higher level you will solve them and you will solve questions which can come later also so this is the 2003 question just because then only you will like it a b c d f is a regular hexagon the question was find ace by a b c d f so a b c d f is a regular hexagon ace by a b c d f now how will you get the answer you will just cut the diagram right 1 2 Three. This is see. Finally, what you need to find out is this is the diagram A C E, and you will get the answer with three lines. One, two, three, so on. This is the question. Answer is three lines away. One, two, three. What is there? There is nothing. You just need to learn. There is nothing to learn. You need to divide the diagram into equal areas and count the answer. These two are equal. These two are equal. These two are equal. All six are equal. Out of which three are inside. So the answer is three out of six. This is also a cat question. This is also a cat question. Now, you might think this one, this is one of the easier ones. All of them are like this only if you are cutting and counting. Some will require you will have to divide six times. Some will you will have to re require will require twelve divisions. That's the maximum in, in a previous paper. You will where you needed where you will require twelve divisions. But you will learn how to divide it fifty-four times also. So, see how will you practice for it? Like this. Take a regular hexagon. Start dividing. These two are equal. Whatever it's called. You know what it's called. Trapezium. These three are equal, rhombus. These six are equal, equilateral triangles. These twelve are equal, right angle triangles. So take the next cat question. One, two, three, four. We are shaded. What is there to solve? But you don't need to stop here, also, right? That I am sure you got the logic. You can keep on dividing to a level which will never come in your paper. Now I am dividing it into more and more. So further, further divisions like this. So fifty-four equal areas. The best part is, if I give you two more minutes, you will understand why it's fifty-four. I don't need to explain. See why? Because you just take one part outside, and uh, if it's tri sections, because I divided into tri sections, this division will be one, three, five. One plus three plus five is nine. And what is your original diagram? Nine into nine into six is your original diagram. You learn geometry using numbers. You can learn geometry in numbers, just like you can learn numbers in geometry. You can learn geometry in numbers.